Good, yes, come on, move. Yes, sir. Good, excellent. Eyes. Good, yes, come on, move. Good, yes, sir. Good, excellent. Up. Good, low. Balance. Good, yes, sir. Oh. Yep. Yep. Great answer. It's a great answer. Don't take feet away to use your hands. Your foot's right there. Bang. Don't take your feet away to use your hands. I think it's a byproduct of two things. I think it's a byproduct of going too quickly. Your, your, your fast approach continues into your arrival where you end up trying to kick feet out from underneath you to use your hands. But I also think it's a, a byproduct of what a natural tendency is for a human being is when something struck at you, you stand up or you try and get out the way of it. And I think for, for any goalkeeping coach who's working with you know goalkeepers at elite level where balls are being hit quite hard, staying in your set position and staying low in your set position and not losing your hips or not popping up is, again, a byproduct of when you pop up, you take your feet away to use your hands. Yeah. So for me, especially in the context of this session and how close we are to the goalkeeper, every part of your body is useful. And you know, you'll know you see two, two little uh, segments in there where both Abe and uh, Rawlsy take their feet away to try and use their hands which result in a goal yeah. but it is a simple kick save or not a simple kick save but it's a, it's a useful kick save and very very effective um, and, and you know in the modern game today using your feet in certain moments is very very effective.